the United States possesses both acknowledged and undisclosed military capabilities, irrespective of official disclosure. The strength of American defense stands out as the most efficient to date, comprising six service branches, the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, and Coast Guard. In this video, let us examine and contrast the two distinct defensive systems employed by America, Navy SEALs vs. Marine Raiders. Who are Navy SEALs? Who are the Marine Raiders? Why do we need them? Navy SEALs The Navy SEALs, officially designated as the United States Navy Sea, Air and Land Teams, serve as the principal special operations force within the U.S. Navy and operate under the Naval Special Warfare Command. If you're curious about their role, the SEALs primarily engage in small unit special operation missions across diverse environments such as maritime, jungle, urban, arctic, mountainous, and desert terrains. Their tasks often involve capturing or eliminating high-level targets and gathering intelligence deep within enemy territory. This team takes over pretty risky missions. Marine Raiders The Marine Raiders, also called the Critical Skill Operators or CSOs, were established by the United States Marine Corps in World War II for the purpose of engaging in Marine Light Infantry Warfare. These groups are recognized as the earliest special operations forces to both organize and participate in combat during World War II, representing an elite force within the Marine Corps. In 2014, the Marine Special Operations Regiment, operating under the United States Marine Corps, Forces Special Operations Command, in short, MARSOC underwent a name change to become the Marine Raider Regiment. This renaming was a tribute to the legacy of the World War II Raiders. Now we know who are they, it is time to brief, what are they? What are the missions they accomplish? And how do they accomplish it? The Marine Raiders specialize in obtaining intelligence regarding the capabilities, intentions and activities of an enemy that are beyond the normal conventional forces. They execute brief strikes and engage in small-scale offensive actions to seize, destroy, capture, recover or inflict damage in hostile or denied areas. Originally established in 1942 as an experimental unit for small, commando-style raids, the raiders have evolved their mission over the past eight decades. On the other hand, SEALs are commonly tasked with capturing or eliminating high-level targets and gathering intelligence in enemy territory. They carry out insertions and extractions via sea, air, or land to execute covert special warfare and special operations missions. These missions encompass unconventional warfare, direct action, counter-terrorism efforts, special investigation, foreign internal defense, information warfare, security assistance, counter-drug operations, personnel recovery, and hydrographic investigation. Are you thrilled by the missions these officers are assigned to? If you're wondering how to be in that rank, and if your enthusiasm is not momentary, we are ready to give you answers. Who can be a Navy SEAL, and what are the requirements to be a Marine Raider? The eligibility to obtain and uphold a secret clearance is crucial. Secondly, a minimum general technical score of 105 is required, reflecting proficiency in reading, language, and basic math skills. Thirdly, a minimum physical fitness test score of 235 is necessary, evaluating stamina and overall physical conditioning through pull-ups or push-ups, plank pose, and a three-mile timed run. Fourth on the list, having no more than two non-judicial punishments on the current enlistment is essential, with potential penalties including a reduction in rank and possible restriction. Additional requirements include passing the MARSOC swim assessment, eligibility for re-enlistment, meeting MARSOC medical screening criteria, and having no more than 18 months' time in grade. Creating a Marine Critical Skills Operator takes a minimum of four and a half years with a prerequisite of at least three years of service or achieving the rank of Lance Corporal before being considered a MARSOC candidate. On the other hand, becoming a Navy SEAL officer is equally complex. It involves 12 plus months of initial training, encompassing basic underwater demolition SEAL Bud S school, parachute jump school, and SEAL qualification training. Specific eyesight requirements include 2040 in the best eye, 2070 in the worst eye, correctable to 2025 with no color blindness. Candidates must be 28 years of age or younger, pass a required physical examination for divers, be a U.S. citizen, and be eligible for security clearance. Out of approximately 1,000 candidates starting the Navy SEAL training annually, only around 200-250 successfully completed the program. 
With nine active duty SEAL teams stationed at over 30 locations worldwide, only exceptionally qualified individuals are accepted as SEAL team members. Achieving these positions is clearly not only associated with the adrenaline rush you get by seeing the missions they accomplish, but that momentary rush has to remain in you for the rest of your life.